K-Dogs Movies Christmas Edition. This time we're taking a look at some more Christmas movies. We're going to take a look at a movie from 1996 called The Preacher's Wife. Released by Disney's Touchstone Pictures, the Samuel Goldwyn Company, and stars Whitney Houston, Courtney B. Vance, and Denzel Washington. Uh, the film was also directed by Penny Marshall. And basically, this movie is a remake of a uh, of a movie that was made uh, 50 years earlier, called *The Bishop's Wife*. And they they of course changed it to uh, *The Preacher's Wife* because uh, it's no longer a, a bishop; it's a it's a a, a, a pastor that's in a, a black community uh, preaching. Uh, his tr his church is struggling. His uh, family is struggling. The, matter of fact, the whole community is struggling, of uh, just things going bad in in the whole uh, community. Now, also some of the thing other things like to, he is struggling with his marriage uh, to Whitney Houston. Um, play her character's name is Julia Biggs, and of course she is the church's choir director, and. Uh, and she and her father was the original pastor of the church and there comes an opportunity there's this I want to say he's the the villain in the film he's played by the late Gregory Hines uh, his character's name is Joe Hamilton he's this big real estate guy and he's buying up all this property he wants to turn he wants to move everybody into this nice gated community and um, but the but the, the the preacher and his wife have too much love for the community that they live in so they don't want to leave and and so the preacher prays to for help and God answers sending a angel by the name of Dudley played by Denzel Washington and Dudley shows up to help the family and of course the preacher is so caught up in in serving serving others and just worrying about about stuff that he forgets what is truly important and matter of fact he kind of the whole entire film he is kind of brushing off Dudley uh, the angel that's sent to help him he's just kind of brushing him off and saying hey I don't need I don't know who you are where you come from and Dudley keeps saying I'm an angel you know I I'm I've come from him God you know and uh, but in the meantime, at the same, well, in the meantime, uh, at, uh, like I said, the preacher's marriage is, is is very strained at this, and so the angel ends up entertaining the wife of the preacher, and 
in some ways, well, not some ways, but uh, they eventually kind of fall in love with each other, and it's not meant to be. And so, the best thing that he can do is help repair the preacher's met, uh, marriage. And so, when the final time when the preacher finally gives us said Dudley I want you out of my house it, you're caught I, I have no idea what you seem to be doing a lot of stuff and it's I'm not pleased with it and finally gets him out of the house but at the same time Dudley rekindles the romance that him and his wife that that the preacher and his wife have uh, by delivering pre uh, Christmas gifts to the members of the church and just he causes them to slip on an icy sidewalk uh, the land in the yard and uh, yeah, just uh, and fall in love with each other all over again but also uh, at the same time uh, Whitney Houston's character Julia um, like I said, there's this kind of this romantic thing brewing between Dudley and Julia, and so he takes her to the place where the preacher and uh, Julia fell in love, where he proposed, and um, there's even a cameo by uh, Lionel Richie, who remembers who she was and says, you had a fantastic voice, and would you mind you know, gracing the the this place with a song. Yeah, and that's and that that's where the you know they put in Whitney Houston's real talent, which was to be a singer. And and by this time, uh Whitney Houston had made this was the third film that I know of that Whitney Houston was had been in and starred. Um and the reason why I'm incorporating it with this Christmas movies is because it takes place at Christmas time. Uh, there's this, um, you know, the the church is putting on this this uh, Christmas play with the children, uh, you know, telling about the birth of Jesus, and um, it's it's a nice little movie. Um, of course, this this review is probably going to be way shorter than some of the others. It's a nice little movie. Uh, it has it does have a happy ending to it. Um, I just wish there was a little bit more excitement because um, I w yeah, I just wish there was a little bit more excitement to this movie, like. Um, I didn't really feel the romantic uh, tension that obviously you could tell that the preacher and his wife are frustrated their marriage is strained um, it's not but it's not to the point where they are where they are divorcing but it's you do see scenes where they uh, want to argue quite a bit um, but then here comes Dudley, uh, the angel, and he kind of builds this relationship with Julia, and she's kind of falling for him. But I, I wish they could have done a little bit more with that, because once, once the preacher makes the last suggestion to you know please you know please leave uh, because he doesn't fully believe that he's an angel um, he even burns his his angel guidebook uh, and the preachers like what was that and uh, uh, it's it's just a nice little movie. Like I said, it's not a... But it, it it's a nice little movie, but I just wish there was a little bit more. Um, you know, like I said, the 
it's a it's ta it's a typical um, mid '90s movie, um, and there's it it all has happy a happy ending, and uh, there's nothing really. There is a bad guy in the film, uh, but he ends up being not so bad. Really, he he himself also kind of redeems himself and becomes the good guy. Um, but yeah, it's it's a nice little like I said, it's a nice movie. It's I, I just wish there was a little bit more to it because most movies that uh, even something like It's a Wonderful Life would you obviously see tension and strain and um, just like something tragic has happened but at the end gets all all gets correct corrected but this didn't really go too far in tragedy it's just like like oh the preacher didn't show up to his son's to his son's uh to pick up his son to go Christmas shopping. Oh, that's sad. But then you see what else the preacher is dealing with. He's dealing with... There's also uh, some sub-story about, about a man who is wrongly uh, accused of committing a crime. Uh, and then there's, uh, you know, church members. Uh, church members sick, and so they go to the he has to go to the hospital and and visit the visit the person that's sick and and also you again this uh the 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 uh the what so-called villain of the film all he's wanting to do is he's wanting to level that that church but put him in a brand new church while Whitney Houston's character says no that my father started that church and I I don't want to leave it's it's kind of like leaving home you don't want to really leave home and so but yeah the preacher's wife from 1996 uh, if you can check it out do so uh, I do know that the uh, blu-ray is available from Disney on uh, Disney uh, the Disney movie club I'm not quite sure if it's available on Disney Plus or Hulu. I'm, it probably probably is on Hulu. Uh, do check the Hulu listings. Uh, so yeah, the preacher's wife. So, from me to you. See you later.